less than 24 hours ago, this entire northeastern blue zone was under siege from Nod. GDI forces were overwhelmed. Their command center was about to fall, and the free world was literally hanging in the balance. But one brave battle commander led a string of victories in DC that seemed to inspire yet more GDI victories all across the globe. It's heartening to know that GDI has really come out swinging. Yes, yeah, very heartening. We're putting up one hell of a fight out there. But William, I disagree with your assessment that the outcome of this war is still in doubt. There is no doubt in my mind whatsoever that GDI will prevail. We will have the will, the resources, and most importantly, support of the people. The public wants payback, an eye for an eye. And that's exactly what we're going to give them. The question then seems to be, can you deliver on this promise? Several conflict analysts are citing your lack of wartime experience as a cause for concern. I believe in my generals and commanders. They are the best of the best. And I believe they deserve not only the trust of myself and my administration, but the trust of the people. Because that is who we are fighting for, who we are fighting to protect. Undermining that critical bond of trust between a people and their protectors is, I believe, a mistake. Commander, no matter what you've seen on the news, you mark my words, this war is far from over. We've still got a number of blue zones up for grabs that could go either way, but that's not what's bothering me. Come here. InOps has been interrogating some Nod POWs, and they've come across a couple spotty similar threats here. Have a look. This is only the beginning. Fire will fall from the skies. Disease will waste your bodies. And your souls will cry for forgiveness. When Cain unleashed his fury! It could be typical Nod rhetoric, but it sounds to me like they're getting ready to use WMDs. That's why I'm sending you to North Africa. If Nod's got the goods, that's where you'll find them. Hopefully a preemptive strike will nip this nightmare in the bud. Oh, and Commander, let's keep this one off the radar. The public's already scared enough. Sanders busy putting all the pieces together. You can get all the pertinent details from Kersey. That'll be all. Commander, the situation in North Africa is still very fluid. Egypt is the primary target here. We just learned an irrigation plant just outside of Kasabad is a front for a Nod chemical weapons factory. Obviously, we need to shut this down. To the north is the port of Alexandria, where Nod is distributing their weapons to the rest of the world. Unfortunately, it gets worse. We believe that Nod is assembling nuclear weapons in an underground facility in northern Cairo, which may explain why the area is so heavily defended. Anyway, the first step in cleaning up this sector is to take out that chemical weapons factory in Kasaba. Okay, so... This is the um, mission that I did the last time and ended up doing Nod because I uh, made a mistake on my end in regards to recording and had to replay, I'm not I believe, sure two what missions happened. to get up to this I point. I lost contact with the zone troopers you were supposed to rendezvous with at the chemical weapons factory. They said they found something, but then I heard shots and the feed cut out. You need to get in there, Commander, see what happened, then take out that damn factory. And there's a few things that I've been saying which are, um, annoying to me. I don't... How do I explain this? Um... When it comes to the entire LGBTQ queer community in general, I 
tend to support Incoming some. Transmission. The last communication point with the Walk to the point where they started putting pedophiles, so I assume those against the... Unit under attack. A couple of rough screens you see on it. See, I don't seem to be on the most of the uh person on the security. Objective complete. Let's rail some vehicles. Pedophiles, they have a very hard time swapping that guys. I am friends with most of a few of them. Establishing video uplink. Commander, the target is not a Saying that but doesn't necessarily mean that I have to like the programs. Take out that facility and see what intel you can uncover. I am. Um, it also goes this beyond just the you know, manufacturing Tiberian based weapons. Extravagance. And destroy it. Of it, I understand. Incoming transmission. At the very least, the uh, has vehicle production capabilities nearby. Eliminate them. Why they had to be somewhat flamboyant and extravagant. And according to my sources, they're no longer that flamboyant and, and excited. We're gonna need some missile soldiers to handle those anymore. Rifle squad ready. They're no longer rolling around completely naked when I give a butter or uh, ready. I just said I don't know why I have any Rifle Squad ready. This is honestly something that I just um, Rifle squad ready. don't take part in, and again and I, that, it doesn't even have to do with the uh Rifle squad ready. Ground Showing off the extravagant part of the, uh, squad ready. culture, Troopers in the rifle field. squad ready. And the nudity, and the rifle squad ready. All in your face about about it. Not you didn't really ask. That's rifle something that makes ready. me uncomfortable, but the truth is. Rifle squad ready. Like, there are people who, um, see two men or two Rifle women just in public, and they look away. And then there is me who see public displays, displays of affection, it doesn't matter what gender they are, that makes me uncomfortable. So, this is something that's, uh, a bit more than just a, uh, we are seeing community for me. This is something I just uh, Rifle squad ready. feel uncomfortable about. But the reason Rifle I don't even go ready. to the parade is um, Rifle squad ready. I have always, Rifle always, ready. insufficient funds. Of course, we told just Rifle squad ready. hated parades. I never saw the point of them. I've uh, fortunately never booked one, but if I were even as a kid, Enemy unit sighted. that would probably be my idea of hell for me. Rifle squad ready. A bunch of people crowded together watching a bunch of other people walk down the street. That's not my idea of entertainment. And they're closing down the street for this. People gotta get to work and go home, you know? Rifle squad ready. Like, I don't like parades, I don't like marches, I don't like anything that impedes with traffic, even when it's a cause. I support, no, yeah, there are a few things where I understand the necessity of going to this extreme march. The Martin Luther King March. But I just don't like parades, I don't Rifle like crowds to begin with. So even though I'm a supporter of them, Unit under attack. I'm not Our going to any parade, even if it's a cause I support also. There's marriage, equality, and then there's common sense. And from what I can tell, no one seems to be seeing the common sense, which is. Well, how do I explain this? Because I'm sounding like a complete prick. If two people, doesn't matter 
Who's the Yorgos no matter what's the Yorgos? Damn, two people. Bloody cover. And decide they want to spend the rest of their lives with one another. Why in hell? Missile squad ready for combat. Because they need a government certificate to make it official. See, when it comes to energy equality, Squad ready for I don't believe there to be a thing at all in regards to the government getting involved. I don't think it's any of the government's damn business who loves each other and wants to spend the rest of their lives with one another. I honestly don't. Missile squad ready for combat. Like, what benefit is it for tax purposes? Enemy unit sighted. Unit under attack. That's the only thing I can think of, tax purposes. And the thing is, I am pretty sure I understand why. At first, the government got involved. Honestly, had nothing to do with the government. Missile squad ready for combat. And everything to do with the church. See, the church wanted to make sure there were no bastard babies. No unwed mothers spreading their filth in their tank. Missile squad ready for combat. And so they made marriage into law because it was a religious thing. Missile squad and ready for combat. I believe in separation of church and state. Unit under attack. Which means I also believe. That there shall be a separation of love Missile and government. The government combat. has no business. No business at all on saying who loves one another Missile squad and who don't. Combat. In my rather unhumble opinion, and for me. I don't want marriage equality. I want marriage out of government control. Missile squad ready for combat. That's what I want. And marriage equality, like it's a step. Missile squad ready for but it's combat. It's also a decided. step backwards. Because I don't think the government will have any say in love and marriage. That's not what we should be fighting for. We should be fighting for the government to decide to um, just mind its own fucking business when it comes to love. <coughs> that, in my unhumble opinion, is honestly what we shall be fighting for. Missile squad ready for combat. And this is coming from me. I am going to make this quite clear and quite blunt when it comes to uh, love and marriage. Missile squad I don't want ready for combat. I don't want it to myself. I don't want to personally, in the least, say there are people who keep asking me, what are you looking for in a woman? And to me, they're just Mr. assuming weight because I ain't looking for no one. I don't want no one. Um, the benefits of dating and love and marriage are Mr. not Squad benefits. Let me see. I value peace. I value solitude. And above all, squad ready for combat. I value privacy. Unit under attack. 
uh, marriage and love and relationships and anything like that, well, that is not something, that is something which is going to go against what I personally value. Missile squad ready for combat. Which is solitude. And quiet and peace. I'm not looking for a lot. Missile squad ready for combat. In fact, um, there's really no kind of way for me to say this, but the simple, honest truth of the matter is that people who love me are the ones who piss me off combat. the most because they never mind their own fucking business. <coughs> Unit They're under always Unit intruding Unit in my combat. life. And that's specifically what it is. An intrusion. And I am not exactly uh, pleased by them intruding into what's none of their concern. Missile squad ready for combat. And asking questions which is none of their business. You ever hear the phrase, the road to hell is paved with good Enemy intentions? Unit under attack. It's the more specific phrase is the road to hell is paved with other people. I got their codes. Good intentions. Reporting in. On my way. That's the simple truth of it. People try and do so fucking much to help you when they end up making shit worse. <laughs> it is a major, um problem. Where the hell is all the Tiberium at? Nod must have harvested it all. For me. Excited. Intelligence data updated. Unit lost. Our base is under attack. Because Unit people under see attack. that Unit what's good for me is what's Let's do it. I guess good for anyone else. Repairing. And the uh, truth of the matter is, what's good for me is, uh, not what everyone else wants. Moving. And what everyone else feels and desires and strives for. And sometimes I can't help but wonder if it's uh, Unit under attack. Listen to Cruise Bang. It ain't just me. Training. That it's uh, honestly. I got all I need. Policy for. I'll see you there. A hell of a lot more people, they just don't seem to know it. Because I see people just... Absolutely wasting... Their lives in desperation trying to find hey, someone. Anyone, and most of the time, these don't have any standards, which is a problem to be dead ones. See, they don't want 
love and marriage and relationship Troopers for uh, field. you want to think of having love and marriage in a relationship no they wanted for for one to sex training because let's be honest everybody thinks with their fucking dicks and pussies Missile squad ready for combat yeah, it's lovely as custom my rather in my opinion. I am never wasting my time with sex again. Missile squad ready for combat. And also they um Missile Squad ready for combat. Want it because you're told they don't want it. Missile squad ready for combat. They're told to say uh Missile Squad ready for combat. Necessary part of life to um Enemy Missile Squad ready for combat. We got him. Love and be love, Aaron. Share your life with some beloved individual because, well, that's what everybody wants. And I really can't help but wonder this really, truly. But everybody wants because I am seeing a lot of people missile chasing after this, and if they ain't making a mistake, they will certainly seem to have a, of a lot less miserable when they were single. You know? This is a hell of a lot miserable. But they were single. Objective. And for me, it's not just being single. I'm just a hell of a lot less miserable than the one in general. Missile squad ready. Other chemical weapons factory. They're using Tiberium. And yet, people think I'm nice. I'm aware of. But the paradox is more importantly, I understand why that paradox exists. And it's logic because it wants people to end up like me. Saying that. I'll check it out. Rifle squad ready. We hear you. I think people uh rifle squad ready. I think we need to see what it's needed to um, want. Get a load of this. Reevaluate some priorities and ask yourself, is this something I really want? Rifle squad ready. Where am I? Enemy Honestly, unit happier. Enemy unit Shut this party down. Rifle squad ready. On my own. And with me. Rifle squad ready. Personally. I have always been happier on my own, and I am not about to go and have my way thrilling with a relationship. Shut this party down. In fact, I, am, I would prefer to have no one. See, the friends of very few friends I believe I do have, they know to keep your distance. Objective complete. And that's why I put up with him better than most. Anyway, this mission is done. Rifle squad ready. This mission. There it is. I hate it when I do that. It always makes me wonder if there's something I've been missing. Short little mission. But the yeah, next mission, if I remember correctly, is the one that uh, I got stuck in when I was originally doing this LP. So I hope that I, uh, but for lack of a better term, 
get it done because this next mission, if it's what I think it is, I'm going to embarrass myself. Good, you're back, Commander. The facility you captured in Casabat turned out to be a treasure trove of information. Unfortunately, the situation's worse than I feared. Not as building a Tiberium weapon. Dr. Giraud down at G-Tech is leading the analysis team. Doctor, what else can you tell us? Nod has found a way to weaponize liquid Tiberium. This much is certain. Our raw data is still preliminary, but we believe a liquid Tiberium explosion would have a yield roughly 10 times greater than a 200 megaton thermonuke. Now, with a proper catalyst, such a blast may also create a self-sustaining exothermic reaction. You're talking about a chain reaction. Precisely. Any proximate Tiberium deposit, liquid or crystal, would be instantly detonated. My God, in a yellow zone. That could be thousands and thousands of acres. Thank you, Doctor. Keep me informed. This changes everything. Commander, seizing that liquid Tiberium device before Nod deploys it, that has to become our number one priority. I want you to take out that port in Alexandria. We can't let them start exporting components out of Egypt. When you've put those problems to bed, then you can focus on Cairo.